my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and uh, we are on part three of the wrecked Luftwaffe S1000, or it's the SS1000. It's not as bad as some of the other ones we've seen, or what I mean by the damage, oh I don't know, this is the thing, the damage might be but worse, who knows, we haven't had the, excuse me, <laughs> we haven't had an airbox smashed up yet, so that's a new one, and there is actually some fray damage, don't seem to care, just buy some new shocks, I would love to know how much this whole shock assembly cost, because it's off a brand new BMW, clearly it's not that old, oh, oh easy outs, Now, that should come out easy, and he didn't really need them. He should have just got a left-handed drill bit. For the simple fact is, it's just sheared off. So, the fasteners taken to the side load, and that's it. There's no corrosion or anything. So, that should easily come out. Although, it might have left some shite in the thread. <laughs> Look how twisted that back end is. It's like... <laughs> wow. That's what we need, that's the most important bit. Forget the frame. Welcome back to the channel, guys. As we haven't actually seen him get anything new yet, I don't think. I don't think there's... Nothing looks like it's in BMW packaging. As you just saw there, we got a ton of parts from BMW Direct. Let me oh, did you really? explain a few of them. In the accident, the very edge of this hose broke off, which is this piece right here. So I have to replace this whole hose, which goes right behind the intake. Now this next piece is the switching valve for the secondary air injection. The old one that was yeah, broke. Yeah, emission is rubbish. That's what the other bit we had all of. The is on the left and the new one is on the right. Right here we have the plastics for the rear end, oh. so I can finally start taking apart. Oh, BMW be rinsing you for these as well. I mean, like, proper three fingers up your bum. That rear end and throw it on the new rear end. Oh. I love how ski with that. That joining braces, Jesus. That cross brace. It's so... I hope he just starts on doing his ABS module just willy-nilly. That'd be great. Actually, how is he going to get out of there? Because the thing is, it's hard to get it out, but he has to get the new one in. Did, oh, wait there. Did he cut that bit of plastic off? You know, this is very fast. This bit here, this bit right here, how is that held to this? How is he getting that past this? What did he do there? Has he cut it out? Because he can't cut the new one out. Wait there. Look, see how it's broken off? Yeah. How are you... Oh, mute. How are you going to do that, Ginge? Because that's broken off. You've just broken this out of here. And that was... Whoa, hang about. That wasn't broken like that. It was complete. Or is it split in the middle? Wait there. It's not that bull. That... Let's have a look at the OEM one. The new one he's got. As you just saw there, we got a ton of hose broke off. 
intake. Now this is on the left and the new one is on the right. Right here we have the... See, look. No, this is all one part. This is all one part. So, is it possible? I don't think it is. Is it possible to get that whole complete ABS module and stuff it through that hole? I don't know. Plastics for the rear end, so I can finally start taking apart that rear. But I wonder that is that. End? I want to see if that's broken. Going on the new rear end. See, look, that's one complete bit of plastic. Can you get that ABS module through there with all the gubbins on it? Don't know. Is that one cracked? It might be cracked. But look at this ABS module. This thing's quite big. Can you get that through that hole? But yeah, that's that's already cracked. Right, he didn't do that. That's already broken. But it wasn't broken off here. He had to cut that out to get... Look at the size of this ABS module. I don't know if it can fit through that hole. Because the ABS modules usually are quite big. And he doesn't want to disconnect his ABS module. <laughs> he doesn't want to do that. Please say he does. Please say he does. And just goes, oh, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Now, I know someone's going to scream and say, why don't you just do an ABS delete? But does he even know what that is? And with this kind of sophisticated system, I don't know how easy that is. I can't see it just being, I'll just replace it. Because of the electronics. That's what I'd be more worried about. Is that a, is that a custom battery for BMW? Because the terminal blocks are normal. Oh, look at these. These aren't normal. Look at these, bloody, these buggers. Jesus, who made it? Yeah, you can't get it through that all up. It's cracked there as well. That's... Yeah, it's all junk, isn't it? Oh, look at the picture, the spring, that's insane. The rear shock, the picture, the spring is huge. Oh, that's quite a big pitch for a spring, is that? Wow. Yeah, you see, he had to break that off, which he broke to get that out. So look, he, he, he broke that off. How are you going to get that ABS module through that hole, mate? Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's massive. I put, I put it on your wall. Now, I've been where these mounted, where these are mounted, I'd want to look at the frame. And inspect the frame, make sure that there's nothing obvious. Pitch that spring might be huge because it's probably electronically controlled. Is it or is it not? Am I just making shit up? It might be, I don't know. I don't think so, by the look of it. But yeah, I'm looking. See, that's all chewy chewy. This wasn't this quite the fabric. This didn't quite the factory chewy chewy. That's what you got to be worried about. <laughs> You're not getting that through that hole. Oh, <gasps> he did as well. He did. Yes. Yes. He just unscrewed the ABS module. He just went sod it. You can't get that through that hole. Uh oh. Now he's going to run it. Let's see if he mentions any of it. He'll have to, he'll have to. But you could tell he was putting that off. He was putting that off for a long time. See, just putting it back out. As it was, it'd be fine.
No, he's chucked it like that because he's super strong. It's because it's a lithium jobby, but I reckon the system has been designed to charge that. I'm surprised how many fasteners there are on this thing. I really am. It's quite an awful lot. There we have it, guys. Here's the old frame, and here is the new frame. All the new plastics are in. I buttoned everything up, tightened everything down. Got the battery, the brake booster in. All I have the brake booster. Left to do is to tighten down this rear plastic piece. He doesn't... He, he, I reckon he knows what it is. That's why he didn't want to take it apart. And then tomorrow, we're going to jump on the front of the bike. Why should you not buy a bike off this guy? Because he doesn't have a fucking clue what he's doing. Um, do you know what? The more and more I watch, the more and more I notice that he's a bit of a lying shit. He knows what that was. That's why he didn't want to take it off. But he plays the old innocent Christian. I know that's a... Yeah. <laughs> So it's been stuck on this decoding VIN screen for the past five minutes now. Anyway, it was worth the shot. I was really curious to see if it would work. I guess I'm gonna have to find another way to connect to this bike. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's it doing? Well, well I'm sorry, I missed something. I was too busy. What's he doing? So it's been stuck on this decoding VIN screen for the past five minutes now. Anyway, it was worth the shot. I was really curious to see if it would work. I guess I'm gonna have to find another way to connect to this bike. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. that is oil inside of the old broken airbox and the side of the airbox where the oil is is the side that the bike was leaned over on now i don't know if that could mean that there is possible oil in the injectors from oil rising through the engine when it was over on okay that side it's crankcase breather dickhead pull one of the coil packs out just to check if there's any oily substance on the end of them the injector is way down in there and i don't have that's a spark plug the right tool to take them out but once we get the ignition and everything figured out if this engine is hydro locked we definitely know where to start why do you keep why does he keep on thinking saying hydro lock for it's just hydro locked it's just a word he's heard fortunately the new one of these is not in the mail yet so i can't put this on and put the rest of the air box on so we'll move on to something else right what whoa, 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 whoa. What is, there's a diff, what is all of this? Is it, there's this thing here. Oh, it's screwed on, right, cool. So it's probably just a secondary air valve or something, right, I see. It's probably something like that. Oh, I, I he, I'm getting rapey vibes from him. <laughs> Alter boy rapey. Oh, he's gonna got a brand new loom. <laughs> How much they cost? Even second hand. No, you get an adapter. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's got this. He's an idiot. You can get single ones just for forks. They're double ended. There's two different sizes on them. Like a 22 and a 26 or something, or a 22 and a 24. He just doesn't know what he's doing. Look, he's gone and got some impact ones for the world's biggest one-inch socket. 
one inch drive. It's like, why? Again, doesn't know. Well, it's running around in his flip flops. That's why. I can't see if there's anything broken. No, you meant you meant you, one of them is a lock nut. No, you meant a lock one against the other. Who cares? Who cares? Getting stuff up. Oh my my stem stalk things arrived today, that's great. I'm so happy. I'm actually genuinely happy, it's great. Take a whack and impact or anything that's bent. Oh, yeah. Straight into the chassis again. That's a quick shifter. Why hasn't he lost his shit about that? Why hasn't he gone all gooey? He usually does. We got the majority of the front put together, all torqued down to spec according to the owner's manual. Now we're gonna- The owner's manual. Move on to the front stay bracket. Oh yeah, that replacement looks like it's in great. Look, that looks like it's been through the same hedge. Oh, look at all the bits we didn't see were missing. Oh, Jesus Christ, all they've snapped off. Yes. Wonderful. Frame's fine though. Thank God. Just chop stuff off it. Don't get them the wrong way around. Them, you notice them colours of them wires were very similar. That says ZF on it. Is that is that ZF who I used to work for? Mm, I wonder. The the logo looks similar. ZF make loads of stuff. It does have a BMW badge on it. Could do. ZF make loads of sensors and stuff for cars. Um, math sensors, knock sensors, all sorts of sensors. I did some consulting for them for a while. Is that F? Yeah. I don't know. They made steering dampers though. 
There we go, the wiring on the bike is 100% complete. That harness came in clutch. I'm gonna save the triple tree for later because I'm waiting on that ignition module, but now let's start putting together the front of the bike. Still just floating with uh Do you even know you assemble it in this order? I don't think it does. That's a weird place to put the horn, isn't it? Fantastic news, I just received an email saying that the rest of my parts for this BMW from BMW Motorrad are in the mail and being shipped to me as we speak. The front is all put together, everything is lining up perfectly. Those few key components that will be showing up in the mail is what's gonna allow me to put this bike back together and I can't wait to see if we can get this baby to start. So guys, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> he even drops his tone, he's like, see ya. That's so good. So good. As a father shows compassion to his children. Let's not say anything else, eh? There's just a random C in there. So the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Do you know how pissed off old Jesus Christ would be if he saw you just slip to C in there? <laughs> Right then, hold that makes no more again. Hold that makes sense. I don't see you in a bit.